For today's video, we are going to explain everything in details on how to square a binomial. And we are going to start with a simple to complex example. So when we say a square of binomial is equal to the square of the first term plus or minus twice the product of the first and last term plus the square of the last term. For example, if we are going to have quantity a plus b square, a plus b is an example of binomial. And when we say binomial, it is a polynomial with exactly two terms. So to simplify a plus b square, we are going to have the first term multiplied to itself, that is a square, and then a times b, that is ab, times the constant 2, that is 2ab, plus the square of the last term, that is b square. So the value of a plus b square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Same thing with a minus b square, that is a square minus 2ab plus b square. Always remember, the square of binomial is always a perfect square trinomial. So this is the basic concept whenever we simplify square of binomial. So let's start and let's have an example. On the first example, we are going to have quantity x plus 4 square. So to simplify, we are going to square the first term, that is x and then square and we are going to multiply the first and last term by the constant 2 so this will be 2 times x times 4 plus the square of the last term that is 4 square and to simplify this will be x square 2 times x that is 2x times 4 that is 8x and 4 square that is 16 so the value of x plus 4 square is equal to x square plus 8x plus 16. And this will be our answer. On number 2, we have the quantity of x minus 5 square. So just like an example number 1, let us square the first term. That is x, then square. And let's multiply the first and last term by the constant 2. So this will be 2 times x times negative 5 plus the square of the last term, that's negative 5 square. So let us simplify. Let us rewrite x square. 2 times x is 2x times negative 5, that's negative 10x. And negative 5 square, that is 25. And this will be our answer. On number 3, we have quantity 3x plus 2y square. So let us square the first term, that is 3x. So we are going to have 3x squared. And let us multiply 3x by 2y times the constant 2. This will be 2 times 3x times 2y. Plus the square of the last term, this will be 2y squared. So to simplify, 3x squared, that is 9x square. 2 times 3x is 6x. And 6x times 2y, that is 12xy. And then 2y square, that's 4y square. And this will be our answer. On number 4, we have quantity 5x minus 7x square y raised to 2. So to simplify, let us square the first term. This will be 5x square, and then let's multiply 5x times negative 7x square y by the constant 2. That is 2 times 5x times negative 7x square y. And then let us square the last term. That's negative 7x square y raised to 2. So 5x square that is 25x square and then 2 times 5x that's 10x and 10 times negative 7 that's negative 70 x times x square that is x cubed and let us write y and then negative 7x square y raised to 2 that's 49x raised to 4 y square and this will be our answer. Example number 5, we have quantity 3x minus 4 raised to 2. 
So to simplify, let us square the first term that is 3x. So we have 3x squared. And then let us multiply the first and last term by the constant 2. That is 2 times 3x multiplied by negative 4 plus the square of the last term that's negative 4 squared. And to simplify, 3x raised to 2, that is 9x squared. And then, 2 multiplied by 3x, that is 6x. And 6x multiplied by negative 4, that is negative 24x. Plus negative 4 squared, that is 16. And this will be our answer. On number 6, we have quantity 7x squared y squared minus 4y squared raised to 2. So just like an example number 5, let us square first the first term. That is 7x squared y squared raised to 2. And then let's multiply the first and last term by the constant 2. So this will be 2 times 7x squared y squared times negative 4y squared. And then let us square the last term. This will be negative 4y squared raised to 2. So let us simplify. 7x squared y squared raised to 2, that's 49x raised to 4, y raised to 4. And then we have 2 multiplied by 7, that's 14. Let's have x squared y squared. 14x squared y squared multiplied by negative 4y squared, that is negative 56x squared. Then let's add the exponent of y, that is 4. And then we have negative 4y squared raised to 2, that is 16y raised to 4. And this will be our answer. What about a number 7? We have quantity x plus 3 minus 5 raised to 2. So to simplify, let us square the first term, that is x plus 3. This will be x plus 3 squared. And let us multiply the first and last term by the constant 2. So this will be 2 times x plus 3 times negative 5 plus the square of the last term that's negative 5. So as you can see, we have a square of binomial here. So all we have to do is to square the first term that is x times itself, that is x squared. And then x times 3, that is 3x times the constant 2, that is 6x. And 3 multiplied by itself, that is 9. And then, let us have 2 multiplied by x plus 3. So this will be 2x plus 6. 2x plus 6 multiplied by negative 5. Negative 5 times 2x, that's negative 10x. Negative 5 times 6, that's negative 30. Plus negative 5 squared, that is 25. And to simplify, let us combine like terms. This will be x squared, 6x minus 10x. That's negative 4x. So let us add this one first. 9 plus 25, that's 34 minus 30. And to write our final answer, this will be x squared minus 4x, 34 minus 30, that's 4. And this will be our answer. On number 8, we have quantity 4xy over 5 minus 6 raised to 2. So just like in our previous example, let us square the first term. This will be 4xy over 5 squared. And then let's multiply the first and last term by the constant 2. That is 2 times 4xy over 5 times negative 6. And then negative 6 square. So let us simplify. So let us distribute the exponent on the numerator and denominator. 4xy raised to 2, that's 16x square, y square. And then 5 square, that's 25. And then we have 2 multiplied by 4, that is 8. And 8 times negative 6, that's negative 48. And let us rewrite the variables over 5 plus negative 6 squared, that is 36. 
And to eliminate the denominators, all we have to do is to multiply each of the term by the least common multiple of 25 and 5. So the LCM of 25 and 5, that is 25. So we are going to cancel this one. We are going to write 16 x square y square. And then 25 divided by 5, that is 5. And 5 multiplied by negative 48xy, that is negative 240xy. And then 36 multiplied by 25, that's 900. And this will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.